hey guys welcome back to my channel so this will be the second part of this breakdown or tutorial on how i made this vfx so already know now that i use something called rpg lab for breaking this object and i want to show you how i really set up everything and how i break it and how everything works properly so what i'm going to do now is to just to create the the pole here so when you look at the pole you can see that the pole is a little bit bent it's not like straight so it's a little bit bent so i have to create the pole just press s then y then scale it on the y as x like so so it's longer than that so something like this is fine so what i'm going to do now is to just to go to the y axis like so up then rotate it then we sure it bend a little bit so this is how i set this up so next i will create an eye close ray so this we act like a pac-man and this is exactly what i do because i don't want to use the pac-man to to make the faces so that's how the most do is because they don't want to use like every geometry to do faces so they use like a low poly then parent it with the object then they do it so that's how i did it myself so what i'm going to now do now is to animate this a bit to just start with from 10 here so i'm going to turn on this record then eat it so add a keyframe to that so go to the fifth frame then drag it forward like so so when you play this we have something like this exactly so i'm going to stop this simulation at 60 all right so now we have something like this i love to drag this up like i don't know i just love to drag this back up very much because i want to see everything i'm doing properly here okay now we have the faces go across our pole here so now i have to break this pole so what i used to do is press n go to the ladder so for this i'm using an annotation pencil for this so i'm going to click here and start then i will paint where i want this object to be broken so like so so after doing that you just have to end your annotation so come down here you have to select the annotation so just click on let add more chunks like so then click on fracture so just wait some seconds then you should have your fracture now a few seconds you can see it breaks so this is where the add-on is very very much powerful and we can see that we are having some kind of bug here because the way the simulation works so you can fix that very very easy with this add-on you can fix anything so when you just come down here because we want some detail in this i already made video on that so we have to select with detail so even by selecting with detail everything got fixed you can see that so this add-on is really, really cool so i'm going to check on this let me just see yes. so you can see how this break so i'm going to increase the cloud So you don't want to go crazy with this thing or the displacement you don't want to go crazy with it so just have to apply the modifier so before i do all that i just want to clear this annotation and the annotation then clear so everything is done like that so i want to come down here then apply the modifiers So after applying the modifier, we can see that we have not seen this chunk over here anymore. So I don't know why it is that, but if you look properly here, in the top here, we have low and high. Because after applying the modifier, we have another high resolution of this exact object that is being created for with the add-on. So this add-on is really, really great. So it's for you to be able to make sure you do your VFS in the low object, then apply them to the eye rays so it's really cool now we have this you can see the low then the eye okay so we can we have to go now we also have to come down here to the faces now this way we do the faces after apply the modifier so for this you just have to create a ground first let me just create a ground plane so now we have a ground so playing this now we still don't have anything going on here so next what we have to do is to just click on rigid body now we have rigid body activated here so let me just off it so when you play this now you can see that this object is going along with it so you can see this our object is not colliding with this so what we have to do 
for it to collide let's edit it properly so click on it go to the first frame like so let's look where it is you can see it's going across under our plane object here so we have to fix that by just setting up this properly you can see that let me just turn on the record so we can save that so just edit this properly like so all right so that should be fine now all right so now we are having our simulation breaking down you can see the way it breaks down and really really fast playing the playback is really, really smooth so now with this you can view the high quality now this is the high quality objects you can see them you can see the smaller chunk how it's created so this is the low quality and this is the high quality you can see that this add is really cool so after doing all that so we now have to shake make sure we have this selected so now come here to the faces now add the rigid body to this now it should be active then animated so when you play this this should collide and this should work you can see with our object so when that is done you can see that everything is now working properly so the next thing to do is to deactivate this object so click on deactivation here then no not for this object rather sorry so click here on this object now click on deactivation here go back to the low sorry because i didn't go back to the low, so it's not working so now deactivating then update faces so now you can play again and you can see that this is working okay now it is working but it's not like the one i do here so you can see this one works and this one so what happens is that we don't want to break everything at once because actually what this does after eating it just brew everything up you can see so that's why we have something cool here that is called the glue the constraint glue you can see that this constraint we also have it in the blender but i don't even know how to use it so that's it so this the constraint we create everything automatically for you so it's very very easy with click simple click you already make a nice looking fracture physics system so just click on the glue add glue to this then click on update then play your simulation once again to see it you can see that this still bleeds away so what i will do now is to increase the glue so i can just press let me do 1000 for this so update then play now you can see how this come down All right, so what you can do more for this is to select some part and then join them together. Sorry for that. So this part, I want to just select them to join them together because if you look at my faces here, you can see that not all the objects are break down. You can see some objects are also joined together. So I'm going to just to press Ctrl J to join them into one object you can see that and also for this part here I have to join them together to J to join that together and this is the only center I really want the faces to really happen properly so after doing that you can see that this flips and bounce away so all you can do is to set the origin to the geometry so it center the origin to the geometry so after that, show something like this, and I will just click on it, then increase the weight. So I'm just put like 400 for this, and for this also, I will put like 400. So now after adding more weight to this, you can see how it's working. Okay, you can see that this rock is still feel like it's blowing away. So much we don't want that so we want some to stick together with, even with adding this glue so what we have to do is to just to set our things properly okay click on this let's see the weight is one kg so you're supposed to make sure to bind this together properly so we can just turn off the brick update you can see how this is so we need to decrease the glue like Let's shift 10, update, then play. It's breaking, but it's not actually breaking the way we want. So turn on the break again. 
so now let's give this like 2000 update okay now so when you already break this thing so what we have to do is to increase this glue strength so what we're going to do is to increase the strength until we get exactly what we're looking for so now it's in 2000 i'm going to increase it we just put it to four then update so basically we're going to start doing this until we get something what it look like this thing is not going to be like stick together really quick so let's make sure this is up very well so i'm going to put it like we say 20,000 then update so you can see that this is start sticking you can see the simulation everything starts sticking together I can see this everything starts sticking together all right so now you can increase let me just put it to 30,000 then update anytime you do any adjustment you just have to click on update Okay, I think this is perfect. All right, now this is how exactly the way I did it. So when you just play this right now, you have something like this. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to come down here, then bake this to mesh. Not bake to mesh, but cache this to memory. So I'm going to put it at 60, the exact frame that this, the timeline is. Then bake. All right, now everything is being cached. You can see that it's very close to the one I did. Very, very close. It's exactly the way I do it. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is to add the dust and everything. So we will come down to the section here. So I'm going to put dust. So I'm going to time it to see where this is actually eating the object. So let me just say from 32 here. We start the simulation and everything should end in 45. So 32 to 45. And this is 45, okay? Then click on this plus sign to add it. So if you can see that it changed the color, change everything. That means it's assign something to it. So let's play to see what exactly what we are getting. You can see how the dust is. You can see that it's very, very, very tiny this time. So what we can do is to increase the scale, the size, then come down here and click on update. So what we do is to play it again. It's way too big. So let's put it like one, then update. All right, so you can see the way it's doing now. So what I can do is to increase the normal. Let me just increase the normal to point four and the size to point five then update all right this is working fine okay so depend on your own liking you can increase the number to something really really crazy let me just say number to one so let me play this you can see how everything Play up and see that so this is how to do this so what you can do you can also check it in the iris so let me just off this after I change the color then remove the visualization back to normal so you can always view this in iris because this is parent to the object it's not like it's working like the way it is but it's parent to the object that's what happens so when you check the particle you can see that it's not using the cache of the first one but it's using the cache of the low mesh so this higher mesh is parent to the low mesh so the way they did is very very smart so you don't have to consume a lot of memory I think I'm happy with this so what you can do now is to do your material and do the render settings then track your footage place it everything perfect and this is how I made this effect so thanks for watching guys i will see you in my next video